I've already cut pieces that would fit together easily to make a basket. So all I'm going to do is glue these together. But you should take note of how it's formed first. I find a good width for the uh, basket that won't slam into the sides, and a good height that won't slam into the bottom. The height will have to include the piece that hooks it on to the throwing arm. Now this piece, these two pieces actually, are very similar to the uh, sides that hold the throwing arm in that the holes in them are big enough for a very easily rotating toothpick. They should also be of uniform height, which these two are not currently. I suggest poking the holes before cutting, because that will prevent the balsa from splitting as you're poking the holes. Alright, now I'm just going to glue it together. You may want to trim the pieces so that it fits a little better. I'm going to use a little extra glue to hold on the top pieces because they're very important. They hold a lot of weight. Now I'm not going to put the extra top piece on just yet. I'm going to make sure that I have the room to fit in the other one by putting the throwing arm on now. There you go. Nice swinging counterweight. Now we're going to put it all together. You could pick up the base, and the base will be flexible enough since it is balsa that you can spread it just a little bit to fit the throwing arm in. Right now, it doesn't look very threatening in this position. You're going to need a little weight. What I find works best is money. Yes, I've still got my rocket bank. <coughs> Self-humiliation over the internet. Isn't it wonderful? Pennies are the cheapest, so we'll go with that. I'm going to use these to fill up the basket. You can use whatever you like, though, as long as it's heavy and small enough to fit in. You have to make sure it balances out, though, at the end, because if it doesn't balance, it's not going to work very well. You're going to end up with weight material everywhere. Okay. Now that it's full, it'll swing nicely, as you can see. Now the part that's missing 
is its ability to throw. After all, you can't just put something on the end of this, it just won't stay on. So, you're going to need a sling. I think I've actually made this throwing arm a little too long. It doesn't really... it's not really conducive to a sling, so I'm going to shorten it just a little bit. And that's about the right length. For this step, the sling, you're going to need your string. Measure it out to be about the length of the throwing part of the throwing arm. Then, fold it over double. And cut it cleanly in half. So lay that one aside for a little bit and now we're gonna take out the cloth. Cut the cloth so it looks kinda like this. Sort of a pouch. Okay, and take one of the strings and glue one end of it to the end of the throwing arm. But make sure there's leftover area up here. Now, glue an end of the pouch onto the end of that string. This is best done with a lower temperature glue gun, but if you're doing it with a high temperature glue gun, be careful. The burns can hurt. Now glue the other string onto the other end of the pouch. It should look like this now. Now, here's where, you, where the wire comes in. Cut a small piece of it. Yeah. Cut a small piece of the wire off. Then bend it into a ring. Glue the ring onto the end of the string. Make sure there's enough room for the wire that the ring is made out of to fit into the ring. Now cut off another small piece of the wire, not too small, it should be, well, a 
about this length. And, hopefully, it'll be small enough that you can just wiggle it into the end of the balsa wood on the throwing arm. If it splits, you can wrap it up in string or something. I'll probably do that to finish it off afterward. <laughs> 